So I flew to Myanmar right after we won. And it was a 20-hour flight from New York to London all the way to Myanmar. And we visited our very first pilot site. And there was someone there who was waiting for us. It was the first person we interviewed. She was a single mother, but she was also a farmer. And her whole family was there. And basically what happened was that that year, her harvest was just too wet. It was off the charts. And because it just so happened that we had put a dryer in her village, she could dry it. And for her, it wasn't so much about reducing waste or selling for higher price. For her, it was like, I can sell because it's dry enough that I can sell in a condition that is sellable. Uh, for someone like her, who only depends on like two harvests a year, it means that we sort of help recover six months of her income. We saved six months of income. I never really understood the impact that we could have until she was there in front of me, thanking me. And she had brought her children along because she was like, you know, this is why I used to pay for their school and food on the table and fix the house. And I was like, oh, wow. Like I never expected that in my lifetime, I would have done that, like help someone like that. And I think that that was, for me, was a catalyst where like, okay, wow, we actually have helped people. Like it's not just a pitch that we're pitching at the UN or something like that. It makes a whole world of difference. And I think it was the stark difference that really drove it home for me. Where it's like, yeah, we can be there and like present and everything. But like, this is the point. This is actually real. And that is something that we strive for.